this tutorial, we're going to look at 3D Max's populate function. The populate function you can see right up here on this ribbon. And if you cannot see that on your 3D Max, the way to get to that is to go up to Animation, come down to Populate, and click on Populate Tools. Now what Populate does is it's a newer tool in Max that allows you to populate a scene using random people walking around, uh, some of them checking their cell phones, things like that. And it just adds a lot more realism to your models. So the first thing that we see in the populate is the flow. Now the flow is going to create walkways, almost like sidewalks, in your scene for people to walk on. So we're going to click on this first flow icon here, create flow. And you can see that it works like a rectangle and you can control the width of the rectangle and the orientation of the rectangle. So I'm going to click and then I can pull that rectangle back. So I'm going to zoom out so you can see what's happening here. You can see how it's allowing me to set up a shape here for my people. So I'm going to click until I'm done and once I'm done I can right click to stop that drawing. And I can see it has the option here for width so I can set the width of this create flow function so we'll set that down to about 12 and we'll click again you can see the difference that it makes. Now in this particular one if you'll notice when I'm dragging you can see blue and red arrows in my path. We didn't see that in my other path and I'll explain why in just a second. So I'm going to draw this all the way around and right click to stop. Now the reason why we didn't see it in this path is because I've doubled over on this first little area right here so that those paths will actually be broken and it can't draw those paths. So this path actually would not get populated. So we're going to come back and we're going to select that and delete it out of our scene. And we can tell in this path that I just drew that I've got three walkways. I've got one here, one here, and one here. Now idle areas are places where people will stand and congregate, um, they'll sit down, they'll just kind of hang out. The first one we've got is this little create a seat icon and what's going to happen here is when we draw this out it's going to set a seat. I'll zoom in so you can see this. Now when we actually populate this it'll look like the person's sitting in the air so we actually have to give the person something to sit on later on a, a model of a rock or something like that. So we'll lay a couple of those out so we can look at that after we've populated our scene. Over here we can have free idle areas, rectangle I idle areas or circle idle areas and those just indicate the shape of the idle area so obviously the circle and the rectangle will be that and the free idle area we can actually draw what shape we want so we'll select that one and we'll draw out kind of like a and remember don't don't overlap like you can see here I've got some doubled up areas and it's going to cause some problems so I'm going to delete that and I'm going to try to do it as flat as possible. And you can see the, the blue and red little dots in there that will represent people later. Now the other two tools we have in this, uh, we can add to an idle area. So if we click on that, we can add to an idle area we already have. Notice that it added that and um, actually attached them together. If we subtract from an idle area, we can remove that area. Now another tool we have up here is the modify idle areas and with that we can select the brush size that we want to work with 
and that allows us to just pull areas out to kind of tweak what we've already drawn. The number of frames is how many frames that it's going to animate for us. So just for the sake of time, we're going to drop that down to 150. And we're going to click on simulate so that we can simulate these people in here. And I'll pause the video and be right back. All right, so after a few minutes of rendering, we can see that it has rendered out our people. And this is one of our idle, idle areas. This is one of our the seating areas. And then you have your pathways here. So we'll play this so that you can see the people moving around. And you can see the people on the track here where we did the create flow. They're walking. The people are sitting and they have animated movements while they're sitting. And then and in the idle areas we have these circles set up of people and some individuals. So now we have a few other tools we can use at this point. Right here under the display we can display textured skins, custom skins, or stick figures. And this is kind of like a wireframe versus realistic mode in 3D Max. Um, if we're having issues with uh, the s speed of our computer or something like that during our um, modeling process, we can change that to stick figure so that it'll speed it up. If we select on a particular individual, we have the option of regenerating the person. So if we have too many of one type of person or another, if we want to uh, change the appearance of them without actually going in there and, and manually changing it, uh, we can just regenerate that. So you can see that took just a minute or two to do that. Under the switch resolution, uh, we can change the resolution of a character from high to low. We can re-simulate so that uh, we can change the behaviors. Uh, we can delete people and then we can bake the characters um, just like we bake a normal animation.